Hey guys, it is Tyler back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth again with my face in it. We're gonna have to deal with that. When we talk about topics, I have no footage for- No, I have footage, but we're talking about an interesting topic that hasn't made a huge impact directly in the Assassin's Creed storyline in the main game, but a lot in the background lore and really is a mega character that people just don't know about at all. And the guy's name is Consus. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to give some information on who Consus was, his history and involvement in the Assassin's Creed universe, and perhaps his future appearances that may occur. So pretty much Consus is an Isu or First Civilization scientist. He is the overall creator of the Pieces of Eden, and he's also known by other names like Prometheus or the Eurydite God. Consus apprenticed under a Greek god, or under another Isu, but we kind of know the name from Greek god, Hephaestus. Or Hephaestus? I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing all these crazy names. But pretty much he was known by the Isu as the Maker, and he helped forge the Pieces of Eden alongside Consus. The two of them together forged the Sword of Eden. But Hephaestus died, and Consus continued to develop during the War of Unification, which is pretty much like uh, Isu's civil war, I guess, that happened before the humans were even created. And then during that time, you know, Consus developed healing properties for their side during the war, like the Shroud of Eden, and all that crazy sort of stuff. So, Consus actually realized that his natural life was coming to an end, and he was so afraid of dying that he wanted to live forever. So he transferred his consciousness into a Shroud of Eden. So he actually got lost for centuries because everyone thought he was dead because he wasn't around and he couldn't talk to anyone because no one had used the Shroud and all that crazy mess. But someone did find him eventually and that someone is Juno. So she informed Consus pretty much of the humans and their creation as well as all this other stuff of using the pieces of Eden to control them and make them their slaves. And Consus is like, holy crap, I didn't think that was possible. Like, oh my goodness, that's insane. Now, when you think of transferring of consciousness, it's something that Juno is impacted by a lot. And it's actually Consus's work in this whole background story that explains a lot of what goes on right now in the Assassin's Creed world with Juno. Because the whole Sage storyline's been created, and the whole Juno having her consciousness around on our internet or whatever the fuck's going on right now in the modern day, who even knows, is because she looked at Consus's work. Consus was like her inspiration for a lot of her science and a lot of other Isu. He was such and so far ahead of the times. Like he created the piece of Eden for goodness sake. He was a smart dude, let's face it. And Juno, at first, when trying to prevent and have the Isu survive the terrible catastrophe that killed them all, or killed most of them anyway, she tried to use that work to transfer people's consciousness into synthetic bodies. She tried it with her husband Aida, which failed and he died, so eventually that ended up leading to the whole sages being developed and, you know, Aida's consciousness somehow being transferred through humans. That had to be altered and things like that. But Juno did master it, because she put her consciousness into the Grand Temple, like Consus did into the Shroud. So we know now in Assassin's Creed 3, Desmond activated it, released Juno, and now we have all this crazy mess that is the modern day of Assassin's Creed right now. So yeah, in a way, Consus is the blame for everything in the modern day storyline right now in Juno. Yeah, that's a real thing. But he had a lot of other impacts through human history, actually, because he, though there are many Shrouds, his Shroud is the only one with his consciousness in it. And people came into contact with that, and when they did, he was able to actually commune with them. Consus is, be, kind of became like a guardian, or imaginary friend, to one of the major storyline characters of Assassin's Creed, uh, at least in the side lore. His name is Giovanni Borgia, son of Lucrezia Borgia, of course, the notorious Borgia family from the Ezio trilogy. Now, Giovanni ended up becoming an assassin, and his father, as well, was an assassin, though his mother... Lucrezia was a Templar, but after he was born, he was pretty much on death's door. He was dying as a baby, but his father knew the assassins had the shroud, stole it to heal his son, and for that his father was executed by the assassins for treason, but his son survived, and Giovanni grew up having this imaginary friend, Consus, because he used to see visions in his dreams of Consus. There's another fun fact, 
that once before Giovanni knew how to read, Giovanni received a letter and was able to read it because Consus read it to him in his head. And he seemed, it's kind of interesting how Consus kind of had a side to the Assassin Templars. He wasn't really with the Assassins, but he didn't like the Templars. Giovanni once said that when Rodrigo asked, where's Consus now? Is he around? And Giovanni said he doesn't like to play when none is around. So he didn't really like Lucrezia and people like that. So that's kind of interesting that Consus wasn't a big fan of all those Templar Borgias. Uh, but Consus did guide him through life at certain points, giving him some advice and pushing him some ways, telling him to give a piece of Eden to the Assassins at one point, and even advising him to go with the Assassins. And in the end, later in life, he did join the Assassins once the kind of Consus part of his life wore off the further along he was away from that memories of the Shroud. He kind of seemed to lose that uh, contact with Consus. And in the more modern days of Assassin's Creed, Abstergo ended up getting that Shroud. And Dr. Grammatica unfortunately had that Shroud at one point as well. And he wanted to talk to Consus by using the Shroud on test subjects. And he'd then talk to Consus through those people using the Shroud kind of come up with information, Consus wasn't that into that, if you know what I mean. But Consus was, interestingly enough, as soon as he was almost activated in that shroud in the modern day, he became aware of everything that happened with Juno and Desmond. He just kind of knew, and he said, he referred to himself, I think, as, like, lost, because he was so scared of what Juno's going to do now that she's out and about and crazy, and Consus understood the impact that that had on the human race. He was kind of, for an East who really liked the humans, especially in comparison to Juno, and especially because Consus was never alive physically while the humans were alive. So he kind of sympathized with them, maybe against his own people for what they did by enslaving them at first. Now, unfortunately, the assassins came to destroy one of the Abstergo labs that the Shroud was in, and in turn destroying the Shroud. And apparently that means also uh, Consus's consciousness. So, in, Consus is dead, really. That's, it's all over for him in terms of right now, and we're not going to be able to, in the modern day, look for ways to stop Juno. Because when I knew about Consus and stuff, and you kind of think about it more and more, it's like, well, he could have had ways to stop Juno. He's such a smart, you know, Isu. He's smarter than Juno. You know, he's way further ahead, and he's been around for thousands and thousands of years. So how, you know, maybe he could have a way to stop her, but... You know, he's dead now. Thanks, Sean and Galena. You guys fucked it up. I, I, sure, it was accidental, but you fucked it up all the same. Perhaps, though, he could have knowledge and ways to help stop Juno. Perhaps he can have other impacts for the future of Assassin's Creed because we've got an awesome thing in Assassin's Creed. It's called an Animus. So, Consus could very well make an appearance in future Assassin's Creed installments because, of course, we go on an Animus, and in that time of an ancestor, Consus's consciousness is still in the Shroud. So, maybe we'll end up finding a Shroud and be able to communicate with Consus. He might have some information about other things that are uh, for future games and future storylines in modern day or just in the Ancestor story. But perhaps somehow they'll be able to... Because there's a lot of time shifts and crazy stuff that goes on in Assassin's Creed. Perhaps he'll be able to help stop Juno in the past or have information in the past and give it like a message to the future to help stop Juno. If anyone can do it, it's probably Consus. He's such a smart Isu. So, who knows? It's really crazy to me, but Consus, very important, I think, and could have a role to play in the future, too. So, I don't doubt that maybe Consus will be back, or maybe make an actual real appearance instead of on side games, or comic books like Titans, or the side games like Project Legacy, which is where his main story came in with Giovanni Borgia. So for lots of you are like, well then, how do you know all this about Consus? Or are you just making up some character right now and blabbing on Tyler? No, it's all in the side stuff. It's not in any main game. Syndicate had files on him and things like that. So quite interesting, you know, the Shrouds had powers possessing people and doing things like that uh, with Consus. And f for example, you look down and perhaps, I'm not sure, I don't think it's the same Shroud that was under the Auditorium family villa. Perhaps it was because when Mario Auditory went underneath the Auditory family villa, and I talked about this in the last episode of The Truth, you know, the Shroud talked to all these people and said, I can heal your wounds because of all the traps set uh, around protecting that Shroud. So that a lot of the Mario's men were injured, and they turned on Mario because he said they can't use it. So perhaps I was conscious doing that, or maybe Shrouds have different things, or maybe it was just kind of like... Uh, 
the powers of the Shroud just kind of were very awing for uh, these people that had never seen a piece of Eden like that. So who knows? But I'd like to think Consus will make a real appearance. Uh, he's really too important and they've had a lot of written about him for nothing to happen. But a bit disappointing that they kind of just killed him off as well. They introduced him and killed him off in the side, whereas he is so important. But maybe, you know, his shroud was destroyed, but maybe somehow his consciousness is still out there. I don't know. You know, has he has that shroud come into contact with other pieces of Eden at one point? Does that mean Consus was able to jump pieces of Eden? I don't know. There's a lot of power in those pieces of Eden. So, a lot can happen. Pretty interesting. Guys, that's who Consus is. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. And next week is a big episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. That's right, you don't have to wait two weeks. Just one week. Where we're talking about, in episode 10 of The Truth, The Box. Or The Boxes, whatever. But it's going to be an amazing video. My third box video. The first two are my two most viewed and successful videos on my channel. So I'm very excited and have very high hopes for my theories on how The Box could impact Assassin's Creed Empire. Future games as well as doing a full rundown of its history that we know right now and doing an updated version of that since my last video. So guys, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.